nitronol, which is like nitinol, but with nitrogen, graphene, and piezoelectrics, and a polystructural polymerized compound. And it's like, if you wiggle your fingers, I was thinking about it because it'd be really funny to do this. <laughs> you'd be able to zap somebody. It's, just, <laughs> it's like shuffling your feet on, on the, you know, carpet. And it's like, zap, fucking, ah! <laughs> I was like, yes, absolutely, <laughs> just to fuck with people. <laughs> Look at my taser gloves. <laughs> Zip. Fucking stop that. <laughs> but you know what the best part about it is? This is a diaphragmic glove. That could be used with a Stirling engine. Utilizing a little bit of pressure wave isolation. And uh, wind. Any amount of uh, any kind of barometric uh, pressure. And some amount of light of any kind. I make large amounts of electricity. Look at me with the stupendous amounts of electricity. Just doing all the electricals. And he's like, but I thought it was for a glove. And I was like, well, it's mostly to be able to handle very specific types of, because uh, it'll produce an electromagnetic and electrostatic repulsive field to certain uh, chemicals and uh, oils and so on. And so it'd be really, really good and being able to reduce its uh, ability to adhere and ultimately harm someone's hand. Which should be good. That's the reason why I thought about it. After I had zapped somebody with the glove in my mind. <laughs> it's like, no, no, no. This is really just to be able to be a dick. <laughs> I misspoke about it. It was like nitrogen. It's, it's not it's, it, that they're silicone base gloves, but then there's like the, the nitrogen something. Anyways, um, but there's, there's that one, and then there's this one, which is separate to the silicon, or the latex, right? Right. Right, yeah. And I was like, well, behold, <laughs> I flubbed that word, and I don't remember it. So now, <laughs> this is nitinol nitrogen. So by the way, you can nitrate, you can uh, nitrate or not nitrate, uh, nitrite, nitrate and nitrite are very two different things. It's nitrite, I think, for what they do with iron to get it harder, right? And so it's like, well, it's effectively the same thing with nitinol, but if you add in graphene and then you add in piezoelectrics and a multitude of layers, you get a polystructural polymerized compound that can definitely form a glove and be very resistant to many of the oils and everything else so that's the reason why i was thinking about it because they're like well i will immediately spin this into something also zap 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 get away from me zap fucking mother fun times fun times all right bye